So Daniel, tell the channel, because you've been on my channel a little bit, but not like crazy. Like I don't think people really like truly know about you and what you do. Um, how long have you been meditating for? I've been meditating for somewhere between five and six years now. Um, pretty seriously for most of that time. Um, before that, I had kind of dabbled in it, heard about it, really hadn't tried it. And then I uh, found out about it through Hinduism and kind of went down the Hindu path of spirituality and that kind of introduced me to lots of different kinds of meditations. Then I did it academically for many years, just finished my master's the other day and uh, in, in the personality and measurement of meditation, so how we can basically create personalized meditation programs. And uh, I facilitate meditation, so I've been doing it for the last two years, um, teaching in corporate context as well as, uh, I guess, community context. Just giving free drop in meditations, creating community around it. It's kind of my big hobby that makes me happy. So uh, just drop by here today to do a quick meditation with you get uh, grounded and centered to uh, be able to continue my entre entrepreneurship day of uh, preparing for Comic-Con this weekend for VR Arcadia. Yeah, so I think if anyone does know about you on my channel, they know that you're opening up VR Arcadia Virtual Reality Lounge here in London, yeah. but you're also trying to tie that into meditation and into like, your life journey and everything. So can you tell anyone, tell us a little bit about how you're gonna planning on doing that or? Yeah, I sort of see technologies as a way to support our wellness. So there's a lot of perspectives that technology takes away from our wellness. And that's true, like I think it can be really hard to attend to the things that matter to us when we have so many exciting technologies all around us. But if we take the time to build technology around our lives, sort of how I see virtual reality, it's a technology that immerses someone into an environment. And if that environment could be for wellness, something that's been built or personalized to you to give you a better experience for something like meditation or for just finding some calm, relaxation, safety in your day, that's kind of what I wanted to explore. Um, and we're exploring that with a number of different technologies, both VR, AR, and looking at things like EEG, heart rate variability, all these different kinds of technologies that can be used to support someone's wellness practice. Awesome, and then you're also like helping Ben with uh, True Focus and Motivate Gaming. So all this kind of the meditation practices that I've been doing with Ben, like you've been in on and are aware of. So like you're like part of the neurohacking experiments as well in a way. Yeah, and in fact, I'm making the pledge right now, November 1st, to start my own neurohacking experiment. I want to bring my meditation game to the next level and start to do much longer meditations, doubling my time and committing to doing it every day. It's been a long time since I've been really disciplined. Most of the time I kind of meditate throughout the day, catch myself, catch my breath, catch little moments to meditate. And I want to commit back to doing long meditations at the beginning of every day and at the end of every single day. And in this way, kind of entering into that neurohacking world, measuring myself at the beginning of that process and at the end to sort of understand what kind of growth someone can go through by really committing and disciplining themselves to start meditating, to start considering their health, and uh, as well, P Peter, you've influenced me a lot to fast, so that's becoming a big part of that story as well, intermittent fasting, and kind of understanding my relationship to food. Awesome, well, you know, I try to film you guys as much as possible, because I want to see you guys start up your own YouTube journey, because, you know, like how you said, like, I influenced and inspired you to start fasting, like, I think if you start picking up a camera more, or I at least feature you on my channel more, you're going to inspire people to meditate and show them the, you know, the the opportunities that come and the benefits that come with it. So let's just hop into a meditation here. Thanks, Daniel. Let's do it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Daniel for being in this video and being part of my whole neurohacking and meditation journey. As you guys saw there, he has a master's degree in meditation. He is very dedicated to this and this is an aspect of his life that he really wants to continue for himself as well as get other people involved and to bring this into their own life. I know for myself that meditating and seeing people like Daniel and Ben who regularly participate in these concepts and aspects in their own life has really had an effect on me and just meditating every single day for the last two to three months has changed my life in a very, very big way. So once again, thank you so much, Daniel, for coming on my YouTube channel here and kind of uh, relaying your professional background behind all of this because as you guys saw here, Daniel's gonna be in my videos a lot more and I want you guys to know and understand 
why these people are being featured on my channel and along my journey, why I have these badasses in my life because we're all benefiting each other in very different ways and Daniel's a great guy. If you guys are interested, go follow him along. All his links to his social media are gonna be down in the description box below. You can follow him on his personal Instagram or you can follow VRcadia, the virtual reality lounge, or the London Mindfulness community, which he is a part of. If you are a Londoner, if you're from the London and surrounding areas, you guys gotta come to these London Mindfulness uh, meetups that, that Daniel hosts. They're all free and uh, it's absolutely amazing. Doing group meditations is a very, very interesting experience. And that was one of the first things that I did with Daniel where it really got me into being like, whoa. Because I remember leaving that first group meditation and I was just like, whoa, like I feel different after this. And I was actually able to slip into uh, a meditative state for my very first time. And I actually experienced it and noticed what it's supposed to feel like. So if you guys are interested, you want to learn more about this, I have videos documenting the whole neurohacking experiments journey where I take you guys through full meditations and all that I take you guys through my full day to days and how it's happening to me so if you guys need any kind of feedback reach out to me on Instagram or reach out to Daniel or come to one of these meetups and join us on some group meditations but once again thank you guys so much for watching this video Daniel's gonna be on my channel a lot more so I wanted to introduce him a little bit and he actually just began intermittent fasting so you're probably gonna see a, a video in the next couple days here discussing his experiences as a new intermittent faster so once again thank you so much Daniel thank you to everyone who watched this video make sure you go hit that like button go follow him along on his journey and I will see you guys in the next video I am the Hungarian experiment